how to choose a good vitamin C product. Welcome back to the Acme channel, it's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. I'm super excited for this video and I'm gonna give you practical tips on what to look out for when it comes to vitamin C. But let's start off with vitamin C itself. It's pretty much become a buzzword within the skincare industry. And it's renowned for repairing and brightening the skin as well as promoting collagen production in the skin. And it sounds absolutely amazing, but how does it work? So vitamin C comes in many, many different forms, but the main kind of research one is L-ascorbic acid, and that's what is mostly used in your skincare products. It works as a mega antioxidant. So various environmental stresses like pollution, smoking, the sun, causes a very reactive oxidative species in the skin, which causes a number of side effects on your skin. So it lowers the quality of your skin texture. Think of these toxins as kind of like toxins that damages the proteins and membranes of your skin cells that break down your collagen production. So collagen is something that plumps up the skin, makes you look really like youthful and lively. And the reduction of that causes you to look a little bit more dull, less lively, a little bit more wrinkles, fine lines, dark spots, red spots, so blotchy skin. And luckily, there are vitamin C products that kind of counteract that. With vitamin C, it decreases that melanin production, and that means less likely of those blotchy, patchy skin sections. Vitamin C also boosts your skin's ability to resist the damage of ultraviolet rays. So those are the main bonuses, the main, main benefits of vitamin C. So let's come up with practical tips to help you find the best product. So skincare is a little bit tricky because you also have to look into the pH levels of your vitamin C. With L-ascorbic acid, it works best at lower pH levels, meaning at an acidic level. And to find the pH level of your skincare, it either is labeled on your product or you can buy litmus paper from Amazon or eBay and also test it out yourself. So that's one option. Now, the best concentration is at around 8% and above. Anything more than 20% or around the 20% mark isn't as effective because it can do more damage than good. Sometimes when the concentrations are too high, your skin can be super reactive and cause greater irritation. So around the 8, 12%, that, that's a pretty good range to start off with when it comes to vitamin C product. The next point is trying to find a product that stabilizes your vitamin C so it can last a lot longer. So this means ensuring that it's kept in a very dark, dry place and it's really prone to breaking down when it's like in contact with water. So making sure that you don't put it near your shower where there's heat and water can come in, making sure that it's in a dry place. And also, look at my banished products. What do you notice about the packaging? It's opaque packaging, so no light can come through your vitamin C product. So that's definitely something that you should look out for when it comes to packaging. Some packaging might look something a little like this. Now, I personally don't trust this because so much light can come through this glass bottle. I mean, it is dark, but there's still so much light coming through that I'm 100% sure the vitamin C is gonna break down. There are also some vitamin C products out there that have clear packaging. And that's just a big, big no-no because vitamin C is so hard to stabilize. So make sure you go with opaque packaging. So this one is another example. So your vitamin C can come in a mask form or lotion or serum. No, I look a little bit naked, but I'm wearing a bit too. One thing that I've got to say is that when it comes to like serums or moisturizers or a mask, it really depends on your skin. So personally, I like to use the vitamin C cream from Banish. It's a lot more gentle for my acne prone combination skin. If you're someone with really, really dry skin, I highly recommend the serum, which is higher concentrations. Um, and that really helps absorb into the skin. So in terms of the texture, it comes down to personal preference. Also, try to find a product that has a combination of antioxidants to help stabilize the vitamin C. Vitamin C works the best in combination with vitamin E, as well as ferulic acid, as well as hyaluronic acid. So vitamin C and E are both antioxidants which support each other and combining it with ferulic acid also helps that collagen production and it's just like a power, power, triple couple, um, not a couple, a, a powerhouse, you know? And hyaluronic acid is absolutely amazing. I love the one from DCM, it's absolutely amazing. It helps retain the moisture on your skin. And so these active ingredients really kind of gel together and do its thing. I can honestly say after introducing vitamin C in my skincare routine, 
routine three years ago till today on a daily basis my skin has done a complete 180 like my skin is looking so bright and it's doing so well compared to what it did many years ago yeah i highly recommend you guys to check out vitamin c products and really trial and error patch test see how you go and yeah i hope this video was helpful big kisses and have a lovely day Mwah. bye guys